This video, I'm gonna talk about how phenylalanine actually impacts our brain. The first thing that you have to understand about phenylalanine is there's two different types of phenylalanine. There is an L-phenylalanine and there is a D-phenylalanine. Now, the L-phenylalanine is an essential amino acid, whereas D-phenylalanine is something that was made up in the lab, but it does have some health benefits, which I'm gonna talk about later in this video. But let's first talk about L-phenylalanine. Now, like I mentioned before, L-phenylalanine is an essential amino acid. An essential amino acid is something that we cannot produce in our body. It's something that we have to consume in our diet or we actually have to take it in supplement form. Now, the very interesting thing about L-phenylalanine is it does produce very important neurotransmitters in our brain and throughout our body. So what happens is first, L-phenylalanine will be broken down to another amino acid, L-tyrosine. Then L-tyrosine will further then be down, broken down to L-dopa and then L-dopa will help build things such as dopamine and then dopamine will be broken down further to norepinephrine and epinephrine. Now dopamine is responsible for motivation and drive, increasing anticipation for pleasure, increasing attention and focus, and helping with memory and learning. Whereas norepinephrine and epinephrine are responsible for increasing arousal and alertness, promoting vigilance, enhancing the formation and retrieval of memory, and also increasing focus and attention. Wow, that's pretty amazing that just something, a small little amino acid like L-phenylalanine can do so much, but we're not done yet. Since L-phenylalanine does help with improve and increase levels of dopamine and norepinephrine, it has been shown in research to help things such as depression, ADHD, and anxiety, because both ADHD and also depression have low levels of dopamine and norepinephrine. Where something like anxiety, there's definitely imbalances of both norepinephrine and epinephrine. So using something like L-phenylalanine can help improve those aspects of mental health. But there's one other thing that L-phenylalanine does. It helps build phenethylamine, also known as PEA. Now you might be asking, what is PEA? PEA is an organic compound found naturally in the body, which acts as a central nervous system stimulant in humans, which then also does help with mood and attention. People who have low levels of PA have been known to have ADHD and depression. It's very common as a biomarker to see these levels be low with people with ADHD and depression, and in some cases with anxiety. So it's only natural to understand that l because it helps improve levels of PA, it's also going to naturally help improve mood, attention, improve levels and symptoms of ADHD and depression. Now, d is not as well researched, but it has been shown that it does combat with inflammation through the brain and throughout the body. And because it does combat with inflammation throughout the brain and throughout the body, it has been shown in research to really help with pain, especially the sense of pain, and also protecting the brain because it's protecting it from the inflammation that we get on a constant basis of things that we do consume and get toxic exposure. And therefore it is a great way of protecting the brain. On top of that, DL-phenylalanine has been shown to increase natural opioids, which increase brain hormones such as endorphins, which makes us feel happy, reduces pain and stress. It also gives us a sense of high self-esteem and having a sense of feeling of well-being. Hence why they call it the feel-good chemical that it is produced in our brain. That only makes sense to, uh, to take both D and L phenylalanine and they have made supplements in that way. And people who have reported taking D L phenylalanine together get a lift in mood, they have better focus and attention, they have more motivation and drive. They also report that they have a better sense of well-being and increased energy. Now it's nice to hear about all these benefits that people have reported, but do they actually work? Do you actually get these types of benefits that I just discussed of how phenylalanine impacts the brain? Well, I decided to take DL phenylalanine for myself for 30 days to see if I could get these same benefits, especially for my ADHD, because that's something that I suffer with. So I decided to take that. If you wanna learn my experience of taking DL phenylalanine for 30 days, then watch this video right here where I took it for 30 days and I share my experience of taking DL phenylalanine. So watch this video right now.